Hi everyone, it's Dardis Galang of WorkingMomsJourney.com Okay, so in today's video, I will be showing you how to sign up with Bluehost if you want to start your own website or create your own website and you need a hosting company, a, a web hosting company para i-host yung website na gagawin mo. So ako kasi ang ginagamit ko is Bluehost and I've been using it for I think 9 years na kasi 2012 pa ako nag-start sa kanila na gamitin ko yung web hosting nila. So I do my website so wordpress.org but with wordpress.org kailangan mo ng web hosting. And si Bluehost isa nga siya sa mga uh, web hosting companies. I mean one of the best web hosting companies talaga kasi very easy to use and very helpful kapag may mga technical problems ka with your own website, lalo na sa WordPress. So, kung hindi ka pa talaga marunong gumawa ng website or wala ka talagang kalam-alam sa paggawa ng website, madali lang gamitin si Bluehost as a web hosting company tapos mag-install ka ng WordPress. Which, I'll, you know, I'll be showing you with my video tutorials about Bluehost para magkaroon kayo ng idea na kahit na wala kang kaalam-alam sa paggawa ng website, matututo ka in the sense na madali lang sundan yung step-by-step -step process. Okay, so just watch my video tutorials on how you could create your own website even if you don't have any idea at all. So right now, what I'm going to show you is how you can sign up with Bluehost to get their web hosting services, you know, choosing your own domain and, you know, all those stuff, okay, for you to get started. Okay, so, as you can see, yung sinasabi ko na nandito mismo sa website nila, no? Get started, diba? So, you could actually click that one if you, you know, if you want to get started uh, having their web hosting services. So, nakikita mo naman dito na yung price nila from $7.99 is down to $2.95 per month. Pero, syempre, may asterisk scan So, ibig sabihin, merong uh, kasama yung offer na yan para maging $2.95, okay? And, if you can see here, eto yung website nila. If you need more information, you know, you could actually read this. As I've said, they're very friendly when it comes to you installing or using WordPress in building your website. So, you could actually explore this option. But, as I've said, this video tutorial is for me to teach you on how to get started with your web hosting services with Bluehost. So, just click the Get Started button and then you'll be landing on this page, okay? So, and dito ngayon yung mga different plans nila. So, as you can see here, um, you have to choose your plan, okay? So, if you click that one, choose plan, mapupunta ka lang dito sa iba't ibang plans na meron sila. So, they have the basic, the plus, choice plus, and pro. So, ang gamit ko right now is the choice plus. So, meron namang reason kung bakit siya recommended. Ito naman kasi yung mga features na meron yung bawat packages, okay? So, if if you're starting your website at medyo hindi ka pa talaga sigurado what, you know, what you're gonna do and all that, you could start with the basic kasi $2.95 uh, per month lang siya, provided that you will sign up for like 12 months, ba? So, ito, uh, ang, ang problema lang kasi sa basic is that one website lang ang pwede mong i-host dito. So, if, if you are planning to go into online business at marami kang naiisip na parang platform or website na parang gusto mong i-create later on, I would recommend talaga, it's either you go for the plus or the choice plus. Pero as I've said, okay na itong choice plus na to, $5.45 per month lang siya. So, magkano ba yun? Kapag kinumpute natin ang $5.45 tapos, sabihin na natin 50 ang palitan. Magkano ba lumalabas yan? So, yeah, that's 272 pesos and 50 cents. Imagine mo, yung 272 pesos and 50 cents mo, I tell you, if you start an online business, malaki yung magiging returns ng 272 pesos and 50 cents mo. Okay, so for 272 pesos, or sabihin na natin 275 pesos, sa 275 pesos, malaki na yung magiging return mo dyan. Okay, so I would really recommend that Choice Plus and eto naman yung mga differences nila. As you can see, madaming unlimited, unlimited domains, unlimited part domains, subdomains. Um, you don't need to understand all of this now. Basta ang importante dito is unlimited websites. Makakapag-create ka ng mga unlimited WordPress websites kung WordPress ang gagamitin mo. And then may free SSL certificate. Tsaka eto, yung SSD storage. Eh, very important yan yung um, storage na yan. Kasi kung marami kang files, like ako, ang dami kong mga ina-upload ng mga files sa mga websites ko. So, it's very important na yung web hosting ko can provide me that unlimited storage. 
And then you also get uh, one office, 365 mailbox, free for 30 days. Siyempre, after that, may bayad na, di ba? Ang difference din is may domain privacy sa Choice Plus. So, maganda na at least. Pero magiging private yung domain mo. Hindi basa-basa malulook up lang yung uh, domain mo and makikita na lahat ng information. So, if you want to go for the Choice Plus, then just, you know, click select. Yeah, so, dito, magsiset-up ka na ng domain mo. Ngayon, ako kasi, ginagamit ko si GoDaddy to buy my domains. So, nasanay na ako na ganun. Kasi, minsan may mga promo sila, mas mura doon. So, ang ginagawa ko, doon talaga ako bumibili ng domain. Tapos, sinesetup ko na lang siya kay Bluehost. So, may video rin naman akong ginawa na ipapakita sa inyo kung paano ka bibili ng domain kay GoDaddy kasi mas mura doon. Tapos, sinesetup ko na lang siya kay Bluehost. Okay, so as you can see here, may nag-appear dito ng choose a free domain later. So, say for example, may nabili ka ng domain from Namecheap or GoDaddy. So, pwede mong gawin, um, i-click mo tong choose free domain later kasi pwede mo naman kuhain yun sa Bluehost. So, pwede mong gamitin yung $11.99 credit na yan, yung free domain credit na yan. Kapag may naisip ka na panibagong domain name na gusto mong gawin uh, as a website for your other online businesses. So, pwede naman yon. So, pwede mo i-click yung choose free domain later. Now, ako, ang ginagamit ko, GoDaddy. So, may mga nahahanap ako doon or may nakukuha ako ng mga uh, domains na uh, talaga namang mura tapos may mga discount kasi ang tagal ko nang ginagamit ng GoDaddy. So, ever since nag-start ako gumamit ng Bluehost, ganun din. Uh, nag-start din ako gumamit ng GoDaddy for my domain name. So, ganun na yung ginagawa ako. Bibili ako sa GoDaddy ng domain tapos yung web hosting ng Bluehost na gagamitin ko. So, kung ganun ka, then you could, you know, just click the choose free domain later. And as I've said, kung marami ka naiisip na online businesses na gagawa mo ng website, then Pwede mong gawin yon sa GoDaddy ka bumili, tapos gamitin mo lang si Bluehost for your web hosting. So, let's say for example, i-click natin yung X, okay? So, let's say for example, wala ka pang nabibili na domain, and gusto mo kay Bluehost na lang din kuhain yung domain para dire-diretsyo na. So, eto, dito may type ngayon kung ano yung naiisip mo na domain na, na gusto mong gawa ng website. So, let's say for example, eto, example lang to ha, okay? Ito kasi yung nasa isip ko ngayon kasi ito yung isa sa direct selling uh, company at saka uh, business na inaasikaso ko ngayon. Nakaka-open lang sa Pilipinas. Kaya fresh na fresh kasi sobrang excited ako habang ginagawa ko siya. So, yan. Ngayon, makikita mo dito, pag clinic mo tong arrow na to, maraming options para dun sa extension. So, pwedeng .com, .online, .site. That space. So, mamimili ka lang dyan, alin bang gusto mong gamitin na extension. So, kung .net or .com, pipiliin mo lang. So, try natin yung .com kung available siya. So, i-click mo lang yung next. Ngayon, kung may sarili ka ng domain, pwede mong i-enter dito. Okay? So, pwede mo dyan i-enter yung existing domain name mo and then click next. But for the purpose of this video, let's say for example, wala ka pa nga nabibiling domain. So, we've created a new domain and then click mo lang yung next. Okay, so, nakalagay dito, the domain myitworksphilippines.com is available. So, ibig sabihin, pwede mong kuhaan itong domain na ito at pwede nga yung gamitin mo. And then, as you can see here, um, pwede ka mag-sign in with your Google account if you want to use that. Or, kung gusto mo, i-fill out mo to. So, let's say, for example, mag-fill out tayo. Kala ayaw mong gamitin yung iyong Google account. And ayaw ko rin naman gamitin yung Google account ko at gusto ko makita nyo kung paano yung i-input. So, kung may business name ka or wala ka naman business name, pwede namang uh, wag mo nang ilagay. Pero, kung may business name ka, pwede mo siya ilagay. Nakal nakalagay naman kasi optional lang naman yan. Okay. Okay. So, country, since nasa Philippines tayo, syempre, ilalagay natin ay Philippines. And then, yung ating address. Ayan, may nakaprepare na na address natin. Tapos, ang ating zip code. And then, your your number. Okay, input ko lang. Tapos, ang email address. Okay, yung email address na gagamitin mo sa pag-sign up with Bluehost. Kasi, ito yung email address kung sa lahat ng correspondence with Bluehost, yun nila ipapadala, isi-send. Okay, and then, yung package information. So, ito na, yung plan na pinili natin ay Choice Plus. 
So, dun sa Choice Plus na yun, mamimili ka ngayon dito kung ilang months, okay? Ibig sabihin, ilang months na gagamitin mo yung web hosting services ni Bluehost. So, merong 12 months. Pero pag 12 months, nakita nyo, nagbago yung price, diba? $7.45 per month. Ngayon, pag 24 months naman, $6.95 per month ang price. Pero, pag 36 month, meaning to say, 3 years yan, yan yung makukuha mo yung $5.45 per month. Okay, so kung multiply natin yung $7.45 per month sa 50, ha, yung rate ng US, 372 pesos and 50 cents. So, sabihin na natin 375 pesos. So, nadagdagan lang ng 100 pesos. Kung gusto mo, 12 months lang muna. ba? Kasi baka mabigla ka kung... Uh, 36 months kagad yung kukuha mo na hosting. Kasi kung first time mo pa lang to create a website, first time mo pa lang na i-navigate na gamitin si Bluehost or ang web hosting services, then I would really suggest go for the 12 months muna. Ayan. So at least yung 12 months, that's just $89.40. So pag times natin yan, sa 50, 4,470 pesos lang. Or sabihin mo ng 4,500 pesos. Diba? Yan ay magiging investment mo para sa online business na itatayo mo using your own website, having your own domain name. Okay, so ayan, pinili natin yung 12 months for $7.45 per month, $89.40 ang buong hosting price mo with Bluehost. Tapos, ito naman yung mga package extras. Okay, so as you can see here, um, yung domain privacy protection, free siya with your package, yung sa Choice Plus. Tapos, ito yung site lock security. It's $1.99 per month if you want to have it. Kung hindi mo naiintindihan ko ano yung site lock security, pwede mo naman i-click yung more information. Ayan, security for online business. Tapos, nakalagay dyan na, kasi makikita mo dito, ba ito, yan. Um, pag clinic mo, nakalagay, connection is secure. Meaning to say, in, kapag magtatayo ka ng online shop or online business, tapos kailangan mo sila na magbayad doon sa online shop mo. Pag nakita nilang secured yung connection, ibig sabihin hindi basa-basa na hack or uh, nai-spam, napapasukan ng mga kung ano, viruses yung ano mo, yung website mo, na di ba may endanger kung mag-input sila ng card payments nila doon and all that. So, it's very important din na maging secure yung iyong website. So, ako, meron ako niyan, yung site lock security. Because we are accepting online payments through our online shop. So, it's very important na makita ng mga um, online customers namin na very secure yung website namin. So, ayan. Um, if you want to know more about the site lock security, then just click that and then it will, you know, explain to you everything that you need to know about site lock security. Maganda rin ang site lock security kasi, I mean, namamonitor din yung website mo kung napapasok ka ng malware and all that, ba? So, very helpful din siya. Ayan. Ang importante na talaga, pag meron ka nito, uh, people will trust your online business uh, from your website kasi makikita nila na yung website mo is secure. So, you know, they could uh, really trust. And then, we also have the code guard basic. So, it's free naman. And then, if you want to add the Bluehost SEO tools, kung hindi mo pa masyado alam ang pag seo ng website mo, you could also click the more information para malaman mo bakit mo mga ba kailangan ng SEO. So, I've done a video tutorial about SEO as well, how it can help grow your online business, okay? So, ito yung para mahanap ka ng mga tao, ng mga customers mo, you have to uh, you have to do certain SEO dun sa website mo para yung mga customers mo pag may tinipe sila na hinahanap nila, mahanap nila yung website mo. Para ito yung pagpapataas ng Google ranking, na kapag meron akong uh, synergy na something, uh, ma makikita ko yung website mo doon, hindi yung nawawala siya. Kasi wala rin mga kwenta na nag-create ka ng website tapos hindi ka naman hahanap ng mga customers mo or you know, you're nowhere to be found. Parang kang store na nasa desert, hindi ka mahanap ng mga customers mo. So walang bibili or walang, walang mapapala doon sa online business na tinayo mo. Okay? So, ayan. If you want to have that, you can just click that one. If you don't have it, then unclick. Okay? Okay, so if you want an email na tied up sa Microsoft Office, and then you can also click this one para mas maintindihan mo kung ano ba yung One Office 365 mailbox. Basta yung email na to, isang email na connected sa Microsoft Office. Pero ako, ang ginagamit ko kasi, yung provided na mismo ng Bluehost, 
which is, it's in a separate video. Pa, uh, malalaman nyo doon sa video tutorial ko na yun kung paano kayo magsiset up ng email address. Yun, yun nakikita nyo na gamit na kunyari, um, customer service at myitworksphilippines.com, ganun, or, uh, or Lourdes Galang at myitworksphilippines.com, ganun. So, malalaman nyo doon sa video na ginawa ko kung paano nyo isiset up yun with Bluehost. So, eto na, uh, kung ayaw mo naman yung mga yan, pwede mo naman i-end click. So, makikita mo yung total amount na babayaran mo, di ba? And, as you can see here, oh, may savings ka na $114.48, 56% off. So, nakasale pa rin siya. Ayan. So, kung gusto mo yan, gamitin niya one office 365 mailbox na may, for, may free 30-day trial. Then, just click it. Ito din, ganyan. So, ayan, yun, mag, makikita mo ulit yung total mo, $137.16 kapag in-include mo itong mga to. Okay, so as you can see here, andito na tayo sa payment information. Okay, so, um, you could pay using your debit card or credit card. As long as yung debit card mo may laman, and then pwede mo rin i-click to more payment options kung ay mong gamitin yung credit card more debit card. So, ayan, ito yung pay by credit card or pay with PayPal. So, kung may PayPal account ka at yun ang gusto mong gamitin, pwede rin pwede mo rin gamitin yun. And then, pay by credit card. So, i-input mo lang yung numbers mo dito. Ayan. And then, yung three digits at the back of the card. Tapos, yung expiration date. Ayan. Month and year. Okay. And then, i-click mo lang to that I have read and agreed to Bluehost Terms of Service and Cancellation Policy and Acknowledge Receipt of the Privacy Policy. And then, click Submit. So, ganyan lang kadali mag-sign up sa Bluehost. So, pipili ka na talaga ng plan na gusto mo and I hope na nakatulong itong video na to para makapamili ka ng tamang plan para sa'yo at saka maintindihan kung ano yung mga kailangan mong ilagay or input na details kapag magsa-sign up ka in getting your web hosting services with Bluehost. So, you could watch my other video tutorials regarding Bluehost using Bluehost as well and in installing WordPress sa Bluehost account mo. Then, if you're new in putting up your own website at medyo kinakabahan ka in doing this, we could actually help you get started with it. We provide web design services, okay? So, me and my husband can actually help you get started in putting up your own website. Of course, there will be um, a service fee or a service charge kasi, uh, syempre, tutulungan ka namin create yung website mo. So, you could actually choose from one of our packages if you want to build uh, your own personal website or a business website or your own e-commerce store or online shop, then we could help you get started with us. Just contact us with the details that you're seeing in our video right now. You could, you know, send us an email or visit my website, workingmomsjourney.com and we can help you get started in launching your website so that you could start your online business, you can start earning with a business that you really love, okay? So I hope that you've learned from this video and I'll see you again on my next videos. Bye! Thank you for watching our videos and please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, you can send us an email and don't forget to visit our website, www.businessideas.com for more of the Follow us on Instagram and also like us on our Facebook page and don't forget to join our Facebook.